Hello humans, welcome back to my makeup room. Today is going to be a full face of YouTube made me buy it makeup. I have a full face selection of cult YouTube makeup products or just makeup products I've heard a few people just nonstop rave about that influence me to buy them. And let's just get started. For my primer, this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now, when this came out, everyone went crazy for it, thinking it was going to be a dupe of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I've only used a little sample of the Silk Canvas, and it's not... I wouldn't say it's identical, but I definitely... I definitely really like this e.l.f. primer. It's very smoothing without being silicone-y and still feeling moisturizing. Under my foundation, I'm going to put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. Of course, this was a Samantha Ravindahl influenced purchase, and it just leaves the skin very glowy and healthy looking and I'm just gonna put this on the high points of my face for foundation I'm gonna use the MAC face and body I have the shade C1 now this of course is gonna be a lighter coverage foundation so we're gonna see where we get with it. I may have to build up the concealer. Oh, this shade is still too dark for me. It's official. MAC face and body does not have a shade for me. I'm just gonna bring this way down my chest to try and blend. It's not like atrociously dark, but it's definitely too dark. I look, I look a little orange. Oh well. For concealer, this is the. Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I have the shade Snow. And since my foundation is so light, I'm just, I mean, dark. I'm gonna go a little crazy on this. That's a little blemish up there. Alright, that's concealer done. Now I'm going to use a cream bronzer today. This is the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer in Baked. So I'm just going to pick this up on my sponge. And bronze up the face. Not that I need it. I'm going to set my face with my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. For blush, I'm going to use my Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. I have the shade Mojave Mauve. And I'm going to use just the shimmer side today.
Now for highlight, there were many, many options I could choose from, but the Super Shock formula from ColourPop in the shade Flexitarian, it had to be this one. This formula is raved and raved about, and this color is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at this. All right, for brows, of course, I have to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I have the shade Taupe, and I was gonna use the Essence Make Me Brow, but I can't find it, so I'm just gonna use my M Cosmetics Brow Gel. It's the Blonde Brow Cream. And that's brows done. I'm gonna use my Sigma eyeshadow base primer in the shade Ignite. Not a lot of people talk about this guy, but I you know like a Nick Fuse does, that's how I started using it. Kelly Gooch has talked about it. And it's really just the best eye primer I've tried. even though this one is a touch too dark for me. I have ordered a lighter shade of this. This is not my shade. Somehow we have made it to the eyes already. Seems like we're going very quickly. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I wanted this so, so bad because everyone on YouTube was loving it so much. And I mean, it's beautiful, but practically every look I've ever done with this has come out exactly the same. So it's just a little unnecessary. And I've discovered that I like cool tones so much more than warm tones. So I never ever reached for this, but this is definitely a YouTube made me buy it purchase. What shall I do? All right, I'm gonna start off with Sauced in my crease and just start building up a little transition. I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of Chaser too, just so it's not too intense. And I'm just gonna start in my crease. Oh, I hate this brush. Okay, this is a wave of brush. The 228 Luxe Crease Brush. This hurts my eyes. This is really pointy. Going back to my Hikikoto one. This is the GSN 10. I really wanted to like that Zoeva brush because it's a, the same shape as this Hikikoto one. But it is not very soft at all. All right, now I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit with cayenne in the crease. And I'm just gonna blend that out again with my transition. All right, in the outer corner, I'm gonna go in with ashes. It's, it's 
a deep dark brown with almost a purple undertone. I'm just going to plop that right in the outer corner. And again, a little blend. This would be kind of a cool all matte look. But I'm not doing that. This is the Tarte Chrome Paint in the shade Sun Drenched. This is a warm, goldy, bronzy kind of a shade and I think it's gonna look And I think it's gonna look really nice with these warm tones. Let's pick some of this up on the brush, give it a little spritz. I think I might have preferred it without this, actually. This is a nice gold. Metallic, I will say that. And I'm just gonna go in with um, lumber just to transition between the gold and the dark outer corner. Just so the gold's not quite so harsh. These shimmers are dry. Okay, I'm gonna deepen it back up with that ashes shade on the outer corner. Keeping that depth. I'm do one last blend here with my transitions. Okay, I'm gonna keep it on the uh, neutral side with the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil waterproof in number 02 but first espresso i'm gonna put that on my waterline and then put some shadows down there i think i'm gonna miss ashes and on fuego on my little flat shader brush. Take that really, really close to the lash line on the outer third. And then on my pencil brush, I'm gonna use low blow and blend that out. Make it nice and smoky. All right, I'm gonna put some of this brown eyeliner on my upper lash line and kind of smudge it in, maybe. I'm just gonna use a little bit of that ashes shade again and my little flat shader brush to help me blend that in. Give it a little smudgy smudge.
Okay, now I just need a little inner corner highlight. This is the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo, another YouTube Made Me Buy It item. And I'm gonna I'm gonna mix the two shades. And just use it as my inner corner highlight. I think that's the eyes done. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Caution and I'll be back after I do that. All right, this is how we're looking with just mascara. And I'm gonna put on some lashes and a lipstick and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This is the finished look. That took me an obscene amount of time. Oh my god, I cannot put on lashes today. These are the House of Lashes Siren Flares. And I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Doc. So this is my full face of things YouTubers made me buy. And I must say, it turned out pretty nice. I'm really happy with the eye look. Maybe I won't be so hateful towards my Naked Heat palette in the future, but still not going to be one of my favorites. Well, that concludes today's video. Be sure to leave me a comment if you have anything exciting to say. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to become a Pavlovian dog. I'll see you next time. Bye!